Kneel before sword. I will not. Then I will destroy this planet. Wait, sod. Okay, you win. I will kneel. Then kneel, Superman. Kneel before sword. <laughs> I defeated Superman. Oh, it's just a dream. I'm so sod. Get it? I am sod and I'm sad. Okay. I give up. I am the Markman and today we are going to unbox and review McFarlane's DC Multiverse figure, General Sod. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Then welcome to the Markverse! When I was unboxing him, you saw both his hands fell. I'm hoping it's just that they were not able to properly connect the hands, but let's go to that later. Let's check the head. There are many DC Multiverse figures where faces are realistic, but here, the skin tone of his face is a little off. It's like the designer thought, okay, let's submit this below standard face paint since I guess the beard will cover all the flaws. You are wrong. The beard did not help. I tried to double check the comics, but this is not the skin tone of Sod and for all the Kryptonians for that matter. He's like Etrigan. And speaking of Etrigan... Let's compare their faces. As you see, their facial skin tone is the same. Though Etrigan's face is just a little yellowish. A shade darker than Sod. But still, this is not normal. Then another is, why is the face of General Sod look so naive? It's like Sod is thinking, What's happening here? There's no focus and that dreaded look in the eyes of Sod, it's gone. It's not there. There's no dreaded look. Now let's go to the cape. I like how this falls. We have a symbol at the back of Sod. This is part of the armor. Then the front part. We have the same symbol here. These are the symbols of the House of Sod. Well, at first, you won't notice the letter Z here. But if you look closely, then you will see it. 
this is part of the cape then the symbol of sod is also here then the shoulder pad it's nice that this pad is not fully attached to the shoulder because if it is then the motion of the shoulder will become more limited since it will be restricted by all parts of the delt Same thing with the left side. I will move this up so, so that you can see what I mean. So even though there is no symmetry on the part of the cape, I still like how they designed this. This is actually the correct costume of General Sod of DC Rebirth. We also have the forearm protector. The forearm protector and the shoulder pad have good details. And also the pants. I like the knee pad as well, especially his boots. This is a terrific style, aesthetic wise. Then the usual peg hole. Great design. Now let's go to the articulation. Let's start with the head. Up, down, then sides, his arms, let's move it sideways. I had explained this earlier, we can only move it this much because it is being hindered by his shoulder pad. It is hitting the delts. Also for moving forward. For the left side, we can move it in full motion, but for the right, it's hitting this part of the cape. I can't raise his arms high. Then, same thing when moving it to the back. Oh, this is not tight, the butterfly joint, it's quite loose. Then we have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. And we can move the hands in full motion. Then the diaphragm. Let's crunch sideways. It's also loose. Then front and back. Then legs sideways. So that's good. Then forward and back. Okay, so that's it. The legs as well are not so tight. Then no tie swivel, but we have a double jointed knee. We have full articulation for the ankle. And we also have articulation for the toe. For the accessories, we have the cord. I'm going to freeze the screen for a couple of seconds. The front. And back. 
than the usual stand. The figure includes four substitute hands. We have two closed fists. Then this is the third one, which is a claw type for the right. Oh, because the left hand is already a claw type, which is the default hand. While for the right hand, the default is a semi-open hand. And the last substitute hand is for the left, which is also a semi-open hand. Let's put all of this, the right hand first, then let's change the left, then let's put the two closed fists. Okay, so that's it. That's the accessories. Now for the measurement and comparison. He is 7 and a quarter inches. Now we have Superman and Lex Luthor for the comparison. And also, let's call Harley Quinn. So why Harley Quinn? Because in DC Rebirth, the Suicide Squad fought Sod after he destroyed the kryptonite bomb that Amanda Waller put in his head. And Hal Jordan, because these two also fought in DC Rebirth when Hal visited the planet where Sod is residing with his family to investigate. So that's the measurement and comparison. While I was checking the articulation of General Sod, I noticed that many joints are loose. They're not that very loose, but I was hoping there are still some tightness because in the long run, especially if I pose sod for photography, it could become very loose over time. I think this is also the reason why his hands easily fell when I unintentionally hit those during unboxing. In terms of the design, I said earlier that the skin tone of his face is unusual. Impliedly, I am quite disappointed. But for the costume, it's good. They became loyal to the costume design of, of Sod in DC Rebirth. For the substitute hands, at least you can use those if you are into photography. So, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to push that notification button since I publish new videos every week. Again, I'm the Markman. Thank you for visiting the Markverse, and always remember to pay it forward with kindness.